She's threatened their ability to stay within the complex. A Midvale family hoping the FBI will now get involved after video has surfaced of their neighbor's racist rants that have gone viral. You've probably seen them by now. Thanks for being with us for 2 News at 5. I'm Heidi Hatch. And I'm Jim Spiewak. So we told you today Catherine Smith was arrested and then later released after video showing her yelling racial slurs in derogatory terms at her neighbors. Amanda Gilbert is joining us live over at the Salt Lake County Jail. So Amanda, how long was Smith actually there? Yeah, Unified Police arrested Catherine Smith last night, but she bailed out at some point today and was released. Now, she was arrested for outstanding warrants. Unified Police booked the woman in this video going viral, Catherine Smith, into jail. This comes after her neighbors, who don't want to be identified for safety and privacy, say they've captured dozens of videos since May. Attorney Tyler Ayers is representing the family. Were you surprised when they did arrest her last night? or I was actually very surprised. I didn't hear about it until this morning, and I had to double check it. Do you think that's in reaction to the media coverage? There's no question that it's reaction to media coverage. But Smith was not arrested for these videos. She was arrested on outstanding warrants related to misdemeanor charges. The documents state she's accused of property damage for ripping up a neighbor's garden. She's been cited for speeding and disorderly conduct. Documents also state she's facing a misdemeanor assault charge for poking her pregnant neighbor in the stomach. The world would believe that some woman sitting in the back of her chair in her backyard would spew that out about another woman giving birth. You know, I mean, that's about as vile a thing as I've ever heard. Was it criminal? Technically, maybe not. But was there a threat in there? Absolutely. Ears is meeting with the FBI about this case. What I hope comes from this meeting is that the FBI recognizes that there have been significant civil rights violations. They're willing to look at the uh, racism of the departments as well and say, hey, Unified, you know, are these programs working? Now that meeting with the FBI was at four today, waiting to hear back. And Unified Police did not release any follow-up statements today. They did release a statement yesterday where they said they were working on long-term solutions. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, 2 News.